I was working, I mentioned before, in a deception environment it was with honeypots. And we were working on our hospital network. We decided to put down a deceptive MRI scanner onto a hospital medical device network. So you're probably aware, you know, these assets, these medical devices, the MRI scanners have got commodity operating systems behind them. So this particular one had a version of Windows 2012 server on it. We put it onto this network. This was basically a virtual machine that was designed to behave like an MRI scanner. Within two minutes, it was being talked to by an X-ray film printer on the same network. And the X-ray film printer had uploaded a version of Conficker to this MRI scanner and was instructing it not only to scan the network for medical records, which you will know are the most monetizable form of PII, but also to try and update itself by, by trying to burrow out to the internet to get a new version of Conficker on itself. I told them about this. They pulled up the drawbridge. I was escorted from the room because you never get involved in the fun conversations as a vendor. But I found out later that what they'd done is they contacted the manufacturer of the X-ray film printer and said, you've got malware on this. Can we have a new firmware for it? And they supplied a new firmware and the same thing happened again and again. And as it turns out, the X-ray film printer manufacturer had a new neighbor in Beijing who got onto their wireless network and was poisoning the firmware as a source. 100,000 compromised devices in circulation. Again, one single medical record has got a black market value of 40 bucks because of the possibilities for blackmail and because of connections to things like insurance interfaces. And so when you start thinking then about the, the, the multiplier effect of things like either supply chain attacks or external facing vulnerabilities, it becomes, again, incumbent on all of us to have all of these things in mind when we're looking at tackling attack surfaces.